Hello guys, my name is uh, Bob. Welcome to the Excel Match Channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to solve uh, rational inequalities uh, in which uh, the functions itself can be factorized. All right? So in this case, this function itself can be factorized. So whenever we solve uh, rational inequalities, we need to take note of one thing and the answer itself. So in the answer itself, uh, the, the roots, okay, the roots itself in the denominator part the roots in the denominator part has to be excluded from the answer. So that is a very important thing that we need to take note. But how do we solve this uh, rational inequalities? There are a few main steps, all right? So first step, what you do is to factorize, right? So factorize uh, the function itself. So in this case, we factorize the function, okay? And followed by doing the sign test, all right? So sign, this sign test itself consists of uh, uh, drawing the number line okay and determine the roots okay the roots as well as uh and so as determining the portion which is positive or negative okay uh and last but not least we will we will find the okay the solution all right the solution that means the range of values of x which satisfy um, this equations down here, but we need to take note. Let me just emphasize this point of view that the roots in the denominator shouldn't be included, okay, in the answer. Okay, so let us just tackle this question. All right, so we have this particular question whereby it was x minus six over x squared plus six x plus eight, greater or equals to zero. All right, and the first step that we are going to do is to factorize. So we factorize the denominator because the denominator basically can be factorized. And then we will basically do it. Okay, so we know that uh, x squared plus 6x plus 8. How we go about doing factorization for this case? Uh, we know that uh, this can be split out into x and x because that's the only way out. And the next thing that we do is to uh, look at the factors, right? In this case, yeah, you know that. Uh, you know when we draw this you know x x thing okay and then we have uh two and four right so when we cross crisscross okay it has to show up six x down here so in this case this is six x and you know that it has to be x plus two and x plus four it's greater or equals to zero okay so we have done the first step which is factorize okay second thing we have to do is to draw a number line all right so let's just draw a number line down here right we draw a number line Okay, then we determine the roots, okay, of the number line. So the roots that we take note of is all the, you know, all the roots itself from the numerator as well as the denominator part, which is in this case, x is equal to 6, because x minus 6 is uh, equal to 0, x is equal to 6, and x plus 2 uh, is equal to 0, so x is negative 2, and also x is negative 4. Okay, and then last but not least, we need to determine, okay, the portion, that means, uh, this portion itself, whether is it positive or negative, between negative 2 to neg 6 itself, whether is it positive or negative, between negative 4 to negative 2 itself is positive or negative. All right. Okay, there's one very special pattern about this uh, rational inequalities is that it is alternate. So, which means to say that, if, let's say this is a positive, this will be a negative, and this will be a positive, this will be a negative, so on and so forth. Okay, but this is just an example. All right, so... Um, so we only just need to test out, okay, one particular part of the portion and then we know that, okay, it's going to be uh, alternate sign and uh, we know that, you know, we know that how, we know that what are the signs for the rest of the portion. All right, so let's say for example, okay, let's just focus on this part down here, all right. So this part down here, we just pick a, a, a number, a random number that is more than 6. So for example, we just pick x is equal to 10. So let x is equal to 10, then we have... Uh, 10 minus 6 right so that will be 4 over 10 plus 2 okay and 10 plus 4 we know that this is positive okay because 10 minus 6 is 4 and then below is just positive or this is greater than 0 and hence this will be positive so as a uh, very strange pattern about rational inequalities is that uh, alternate signs changes all right as the portion goes is like this is positive this will be negative this will be positive this will be negative that is it. That's as simple as it is. So that you don't need to recalculate, all right? You do not need to recalculate. Okay, so now we know that uh, which portion is positive, which portion is negative, so on and so forth. So next thing that we need to determine is we need to determine the portion that is greater than greater or equal to zero. So that will be the positive portion. So which part would it be? So the last part, find the solution, is actually this part, 
and this part because we want the function to be positive all right uh which is greater or equal to zero okay so first thing we write down the solution so that will be negative between x is between uh, negative 4 and negative 2 and x is uh, greater than 6 but however you need to take note okay that uh, the roots and the denominator should not be included into the equation. So, which is in this case, negative 2 and negative 4 should not be included, okay, in the answer itself. Why? Because if you were to sub in x equals to negative 2, this whole denominator will be equal to 0 and hence, you'll get infinity. That doesn't make sense, all right? <laughs> all right, so we, so which means to say that we shouldn't include, okay, the x value that will cause the denominator to be equal to 0. So, we should not include negative 4 and negative 2. And hence, okay, we can still include uh, x is equal to 6 because, okay, if we decide x is uh, equal to 6, it will be 0, all right? So it can be greater or equal to 6, and hence, this is the final answer. So x is between uh, negative 2 and negative 4, and x is greater or equal to 6. So this is uh, how you are going to solve uh, or how you can actually solve the rational inequalities that functions that can be factorized. All right. Um, just one thing that you need to take note and always remember that in your final answer itself, um, those roots, OK, that at the denominator shouldn't be included, OK, in the range. Very important thing. And hopefully uh, you guys actually capture uh, what are the things that, that is down here. All right. I'm Bob. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. And thank you guys for your support.